Hi, Vod Channel. How are you doing? We are playing Interior Worlds, which is a brand new, came out three days ago, brand new uh, horror game, a liminal space horror game, which can be hit or miss. Uh, liminal spaces can be done really well, or uh, it can just be a walking simulator. But this one in particular looks like it's really good because uh, it actually has like unique gameplay mechanics uh, and it's not just walking around and picking up stuff. Um, and when I check the, check the Steam reviews, uh as of today it has 40 reviews and every single one of them is positive it has 100 percent positive reviews everyone seems to be really happy with it seems to be about four hours long which is exactly how long we usually stream so i'm excited to hop in and check this out i i'm still looking for that one game that one liminal space horror game that's gonna make uh liminal space horror as scary as it's supposed to be because i'm telling you liminal spaces are terrifying but anyway we're gonna go say hi youtube have a great time hop in let's do it Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Interior Worlds. This is a brand new liminal space horror game and I'm still looking for that one liminal space horror game that's gonna do the genre justice. There hasn't been a single one yet that has truly made liminal space horror as scary as it's supposed to be because I'm telling you, they can be some of the scariest stuff out there. And I'm hoping that this is gonna be that one. It looks really good. It has amazing reviews on Steam. So I'm excited. We're gonna hop in. I hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go let's explore <laughs> oh baby all right first we're gonna turn up the audio i don't know the weird what this is 100 percent. this is 50 percent. i hear nothing anymore am i blind am i deaf how does that work <laughs> Wait, what? What is this exponential slider? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, at this point, I already don't hear anything anymore. The fuck? I said blind, I meant deaf. Alright, I guess we're going with that. I don't know. What the fuck? That's, That's stupid. Okay, return. Here we go. Explore. Ooh, hi there. Prologue, sure thing. That's just an aesthetic game. Love the art style. Oh, hi there. Are we gonna fall out of bounds somehow? Once again, you found yourself on the move, unable to get any sleep. You're nestled deep in the routine of another nighttime drive for some relief. It's 3 a.m. and the immense absence of light envelops everything around you yet. Despite the loneliness of this localized void, something is following you. Miles of barren, chalked road lay behind, between you and whatever point you decide to turn back. But tonight feels different. You've never felt like turning back less than you do right now. Empty lots, blackened buildings, dimly lit hallways, they all lie awake along with you. With each one you pass along the way, the urge to pay them a visit grows stronger. Those spaces between the spaces, the connecting bridges between different worlds, the bridges that are themselves a world, all their own, each leading somewhere. But do they really go nowhere? What do they want to show us? Something tells you the next fuel stop has an answer. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Atmospheric. Oh, here we go. Hi there. This reminds me of like a uh, Fierce to Fathom kind of art style. Uh, that's a nice looking car. Why does everyone in the US drive these like oversized uh half pickup truck kind of things that's just a thing it's like an only american thing no one in the u in in europe really drives those kind of cars they're so massive it's crazy uh hello there this is a bright place is there anyone here or am i alone uh on lunch break lunch break my guy have you seen the time how long is your lunch break <laughs> what do you mean lunch break all right well i guess i'll serve myself <laughs> uh, I can't pick any of this up. I can't. What I would love some pico or whatever this says. Uh, I would love some food. Obviously, that's why I'm here. Uh, I can hear music in the distance. Where's that in here? That's in here. Okay. Uh, caution! It's a wet floor. Can I fall? Can I fall out of bounds this way? Oh, I can jump. What the hell? All right. What's out here? They got some uh, frozen food. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Oh, wait a minute. Car's back here. 
Uh, why are you guys parked so weirdly? What the hell? There's a locked door. The, the bathroom is locked, of course. You gotta get the key from inside first. Oh, baby. Oh, there's still people driving by. We're not fully alone yet. We're not out of bounds yet. We are safe. Safe and sound. Let's let's actually tank, maybe. Maybe I should tank first. I was just running away. Should probably also close my door. I can't close my door. Uh, can I tank? Oh, here we go. Wait, I'm already tanking. All right, guess I won't. Guess I guess I don't. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Polko Mart. <laughs> All right. Can I be helped, please? I would love to pay for my fuel. I don't want to be a thief. I don't want to steal it. Hello. Oh, there's something there. Wait, there's a key. Key to the bathroom. I need it. Give me the key to the bathroom. Do I have any items? I'm pressing all the buttons on the... All the buttons. I'm pressing... My whole keyboard is getting smashed right now. Uh, controls. Yes, tell me, please. Is there any... Controls. Here we go. Uh, interact is E. Jog. Uh, advanced film is R. Toggle camera flashes F. I'm pressing F and R. It's not doing anything at all. I hear music. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I mean, I'm already enjoying this place. It's pretty clean. It's actually really clean. What the hell? Squares on the ground. Why is the floor so reflective? Oh my god. That's clean. What if I get myself hit by a car, huh? Let's try that out. What if I just get myself killed? Is that gonna... They're probably not gonna let me out here, huh? They're probably gonna block me in here. What if I want to leave? Uh, is this how I die? This is a massive interstate, probably. Uh, is anyone gonna hit me here? <laughs> is this a good idea? This seems like a terrible idea. Uh, no one is here. They're, they were driving here just a moment ago, and now there's no one. Maybe they know. I hear cars in the distance. Oh, hi there. I died. I got an achievement called Luke Both Ways. <laughs> okay, I guess that was not the answer. Dying is not the answer. Warning, no service next 100 miles. Winter travel not advised. What if I go to the exit? I, I'm a little confused. I'm just gonna walk around to you. Oh, pause the game by tab. Location fuel stop. Let's check all these things. Can I call someone? I would like to call someone. Ah, uh, invis- no. Oh. I can pick up the thing. Am I- Oh, wait, I'm calling someone. I'm turning up the volume. Hello? I'm tick- I'm typing a number. The call could not be completed at this time. Please check the number and try again. What number did I call? I typed a big number. Can we go back here? Hey, I would love for you to come back from your lunch break. Wait a minute. We can just go over here. Aha, huh, what if we just sneak in here? Is there even anyone here? I think you're not on your lunch break. I'm taking this key. I'm going to the bathroom. I need to take a shit. <laughs> You have to, you have to sell, serve yourself here. I mean, I hope I get to pay for my gas, otherwise I'm gonna get super arrested. All right, to the, to the bathroom we go. Uh, it's a little dirty here. I thought the, the store was so clean. Why are your bathroom so stinky? This, I hate these, by the way, because you always like it splatters on. Because no matter, I mean, I guess. Like, it always just splatters on your- on your shoes if you piss in these. I hate those. Anyway, um, that's uh, too much information. I'm going to the green door now. <laughs> we can't go through here, right? We can't open those? I guess we're gonna have to go back around again. There's those- aren't those the Japanese-style toilets? I know in Jap- oh no! Japanese-style toilets are those, like, weird standy toilets. Where you don't even have- like, they're real strange. The squatter toilets. It's interesting how toilets can be so different around different around the world. Um, I feel like I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Oh, I'm insanely powerful. Excuse me. I'm a strong, strong boy. Can't go over here. All right. Well, I guess we're going through the. Oh, uh, what now? 
I think I've gotten a little lost, huh? Uh, why is this here? Who hit this? Excuse me. I'm digging it. Doors opening by themselves. Uh, it's never happened to me in real life, but I would run the other way instantly. That is not normal. I got a photo cam. The hell? He's really admiring it. There's no screen on this photo cam. How is a zoomer supposed to use it like me? How are my zoomer brains supposed to understand how to take a photo? Ooh. Uh, I Oh, yeah, we're lost. Yep. I mean, you know what you did. You know what you got into when you... Oh, wait, no, we're out. Never mind. Wait, we, we went th straight through. Uh, I don't think this is the same place. It is actually the same place, but it looks very different. Is the lunch break over now? Hello? Okay, no door. The door does not want to open. I see something there. Do I take a photo? Oh. Uh... Well, I think I got in my car. I got an achievement called Down the Rabbit Hole. I think that is the same place. Uh, what the hell is this crazy parking garage? <laughs> I can hear the radio faintly. I really don't like parking garages. Why do they smell so bad? It's like you're... Like you're just inhaling. What the hell? Do I want to punch the photo cam? I'm getting out, I'm guessing. I got sound design on point. I don't drive much, though. Uh, parking garage. I could have, you could have fooled me. There's a note. Thank you for choosing the Cano single lens reflex camera. In order to get the most out of your camera, follow these instructions. To snap a photo, press left mouse button. Advance the film by pressing R between shots. It's, it's one of those rolly cams. Toggle flash functionality by pressing F. Frame a subject more accurately by holding right mouse button to enter viewfinder mode. This seems a bit advanced for a camera like this. Adjust lens focus using the scroll wheel, zoom in or out using Z or X. While in viewfinder mode, points of interest may appear nearby. Take photos of these locations. Once all photos, photo ops have been captured, follow the brightly lit exit indicators. Um, it's Cano, by the way. I just realized the name. How do I get a, oh, exit, I clicked there. Okay. I am in viewfinder mode. I do not see anything that can be pictured. Oh, this is, this is sure. Oh, I see, I see. And then we zoom in and out. All right. And then we toggle flash. Uh, and then we do R. I see. Man, that's old timey. Why, who the fuck parked these cars? I mean, this one in particular. You you know you're in a spot you're not supposed to be, mister. What's wrong with you? Uh, what's this? Photo? Photo save to album. Excuse me? Something just fell over? I would love to see that photo. Can I check it? Tab. Album. View photo album. What was this? This is nothing. What is it? There's nothing here. There's a, there's a dime stamp on it. I don't know. Click the toggle. Okay. I don't know. Open containing folder. Go back. Oh, oh it's actually... <laughs> it opened the... Fo Wait, whoa, that's cool. It opened the <laughs> folder on my computer. I see. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a game for me. I always take screenshots. You know me. I appreciate that. Oh, God. I, I tried to fix it, and I only made it ten times worse, and now the whole place is going to flood. I'm so sorry. I need to get out of here before I get arrested. Um, I could not go up there, right? That looks like I... I, I don't want to go there. I want to leave. Leave the crime scene, guys. Oh. I th am I just doing that 
What? What is exactly? Am I taking a photo of? What if I take my own photos? I see something over there. Can I zoom in all the way and just take that from here? I cannot. Let's see how far we can take that. Oh, I can't see through that. I can take this should work, right? Come on. There you go. Okay, so you can take him from pretty far away. See another one right there. Uh, oops, I forget you have to do that. Yeah, I'm taking them wide shot. Oh, it says four out of nine because I've taken four out of nine photos. I see, I see. That I'm supposed to take here. Maintenance room. Restrooms. I can't go into the restroom once again. Trying to make me shit my pants. Gaming arthritis, thank you for the six months. Asteria, thank you for the six months as well. Uh, none of these doors actually open. <laughs> they actually make, they, they force you to explore. There's no running through this. Uh, why the hell is there a shopping cart here? Who left this here? The psycho? You gotta put back your shopping cart. You know the rules. They all, um, they always have shopping cart, like, storage spots. I mean, it's weird to have them in a, in a parking garage like this. Uh, I see exit right over there. Oh, gotta do this. Uh, this car's a little messed up. Just a one tiny car. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. And this is one loud hum down here. I don't know. It feels like I'm underwater or there's like an earthquake going on. Uh, there's gotta be someone in here. Am I gonna be killed? Hello? What? Oh, it's a key. Oh. What the fuck? Hello there! Did I just take a flash? Oh, flash. I want... Wait, what? Oh, no. I thought this disappeared. Oh, why is that there? I'm taking a photo. I'm taking a flash photo. Actual built-in flash. The time when you had to select it. Dude, I remember having a photo cam every time we would go on vacation. My parents would give me these, like, 24 photo, like, uh, like, throwaway photo cams. Disposable photo cams. And you'd have to like choose if you wanted to use the flash or not. The so good old days when you had to like think about using the flash. Instead of it just like automatically deciding for you based on the light. We, we, we walk so you can run. We have to decide our own flash. Excuse me, what the hell is going on here? Uh, who, who knocked that car over? I mean, the fact that this car even works still is actually impressive, honestly. I'm checking this side because I haven't been here. I'm pretty sure we haven't gone... Oh, what's this? Do I have infinite sprint, by the way? Oh, I need to get in through the through the back over here. Probably. Uh-huh. I'm at eight of nine. I don't think I can go in here. I don't know, that doesn't even say anything. Is this blood? No, this is just bullshit. Boot, hey, thank you for the eight months. Uh, there's gotta be one more over here. The shopping cart's right over there. I think I see it. Is that it? No. Uh, what's down here? I, I should be able to jump over this. Oh, that's where I came from. That's the, uh... I, I broke that, remember? I didn't break it. I mean, someone else did. I just came by. I'm innocent. Uh, we can go up even more. Never mind. This is blocked. Maybe there's a photo over here. Okay, I, I need to figure out what the open... You can't really... You can see right behind me. There's, I got a yellow or a red key. Colors are hard. Uh, and I need to figure out what I can open with that. There's obviously the exit door. Oh, we can go up more. Can I open this with a red key? I doesn't work. Well then, jump down and die. Never mind. <laughs> okay, that would have killed me, or at least broke my legs. 
All right, we're checking out this uh, the exit door. Maybe that is where we got to go. Game is chill yet ominous. Um, there's an exit door over here, right? Oh, there. Maybe we can open that with this. Uh, there's also this door, but I don't think that actually. I can't go into any of those. Oh, we can open this with the red key. Aha! And there's the last one. I did it. 100%. Oh, what's that? I saw... I think it's just droplets falling on the ground. Section A. This is one dirty... garage, or... parking garage. I'm jumping. I'm going crazy. Photo question mark? I will take a photo of this. What? Excuse me? Oh, it, it asked me if I got all the photos. And if you have all the photos, this door opens up for you. I see. Aha. I got an achievement called Lost Your Keys. I mean, I left my car behind. We're going deeper? Where are we now? It's a, me it's a metro. I was about to say it looks like an underground. We're in the UK right now. We went from... The United States of the UK in one flash of a photo cam. This looks more Paris. This reminds me more of Paris than of the UK. I don't know. I really do not like using public transit. Uh, it... Not because, like... Uh, oh. Thank you for purchasing the Corman Multi-Use Pocket Compass. In order to get the most out of your Neo tool, please use this, follow this handy guide before beginning navigation. To equip or holster your compass, use the scroll wheel, follow the direction of the compass needle to find the nearest photo anomaly. Once all necessary photo anomalies have been captured, the compass needle will point towards the exit. I see. Um, the main reason is that I am terrible when it comes to planning my routes. It's mostly just anxiety rather than me actually being terrible at it. It's mostly just thinking about what could go wrong if I miss my train and stuff. Than me actually having done that many times. Same. Seems like I'm not alone. Uh, oh, use the compass. Pointing this way. It's not actually a compass then, huh? It sucks in Belgium. I mean, I live in a place where public transit is incredible. Do I have it? Does that just, does that just work? I guess they count people going in and out. Um, oh, I see one there. No, never mind. What over here? I see, that could have been a sneaky one that I might have missed. That's a shiny thing. I can't read any of this, though. Two... Two equals six? What are you talking about? That's not math. That's like a... This is... This is like if liminal space horror games were invented in the era of PlayStation games. I mean, some of the old PlayStation games are like unintentionally liminal space games going up the hard way okay never mind <laughs> come on man i could have made that uh oh no, there's only eight here i could jump this i can't jump this never mind i am wrong uh, it looks like i should go down here but this looks extremely blocked no exit yeah maybe i can take it through though aha can i reach that Could take this. Come on, man. It doesn't work. Come on, man. All right, we're going the other way. I feel strangely safe right now. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this very soon, and we're gonna be jumped by something crazy. Subway. Oh that actually moved like that. Uh, we cannot go there. Dude, there's some 
seriously strong background hum going on. Uh, I have this key. I don't even remember getting that key. I'm so immersed right now. Dude, you can't not take these from far away. I didn't even stop here. I wanted to take that one. That was my metro, man. Uh, I guess I just cross. Oh, I can't. I was. <laughs> I guess I jumped down there. But I can't. Penguin, thank you for the three months. No exit. Yeah, you didn't have to tell me that, given that it's completely blocked off. Okay, there's one. Your heart starts beating when you get close to one. Uh, yeah, we cannot even go there. We, you, thank you for the three months. Oh, uh, I guess one of them arrived. I don't remember seeing you, but maybe I just didn't look properly. No boarding or departing the station. Please stand clear. I'm calling. Someone's gonna pick up the phone. I'm telling you, one of these times. If I just keep ringing, eventually someone will, will pick up. There's people in there. Take photos. Let me take this photo. I haven't... I mean, I checked the first photo and there wasn't anything in the photo. That's why... Let's see. View photo album. We get like a little... We get like a little summary of my entire adventure here. And, and then one of the photos is gonna have like a monster in the... <laughs> oh, what the hell? This is fairly ominous. Uh, I'm gonna go back and return and never look at that. I mean, I am gonna look at that again, but not right now. Yeah. Oh, come on, you can jump that. Really? You can't? All right, time to get into the tram or the train. This carpet? Carpet? Carpeted metro? Someone's coming by. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna get stuck. Uh, I should use the compass. One back there. I see it. And then one over there. Oh, I didn't reload. What the hell? I really do hope they're gonna, like, do something when you take a photo. Or there's gonna be, like, something in the photo eventually. Like, they're gonna introduce that as a mechanic. I think right now they're just telling you... They're, like, introducing everything slowly. Like, they're introducing the compass. They're introducing the photo cam. Uh, danger! Demolition in progress. Doesn't matter to me. That would be real creepy. We're gonna like take a photo and some creature from another dimension is gonna show up. All right, well, I got all the photos again. Now, completion is on the case here. Midnight train achievement. There's gotta be like, there were like 10 or something. Oh, ooh, clean. The airport. I don't think I've ever seen an airport in a liminal space game. Zing pop boom. <laughs> what the fuck? Zing pop boom, baby. I don't know what that says. Give me one second. You guys got jump scared yet? Ready. What are these scrolly boards? I don't think I've seen a scrolling board in my entire life. 
That's like so old timey. Humble, we think of the five months. They're all just electronic now. Wait, I just realized my hands are no longer film grained. Excuse me? Wait, the film grain like kind of went away. I didn't do anything. I passed one, whoopsie daisy. What the hell? That's weird. It's like I'm dis disconnected from the world. Uh, the film grain entirely just kind of went away. Yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, are we here? I hear a heartbeat, very clear heartbeat. I should reload. Interesting. Are, are they gonna have different aesthetics? Can I walk this backwards? Yes. It doesn't even work! <laughs> Excuse me. Scam. I've been scammed. What? <laughs> Infinite money glitch, baby! <laughs> More money! <laughs> oh no, where'd it go? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm taking a photo of that. <laughs> Free money, baby. This looks more like a train station than an airport. This carpet? I don't think I've ever been in an airport with carpet. That would be a nightmare to clean. Uh, I would like to check in my luggage. I'm just kicking it around. Just smacking everything for no reason. What? Do I use this to s jump up somewhere? <laughs> Picking up the trash can. You'd probably get shot by one of those military guys if you decided to do this. That's like the one... For, for people that don't live in the US, that's like the one time we get to like feel like what it would be like to live in the US. Going to places like airports where there's just like these people standing around with just like giant assault rifles and you're like, what the fuck, man? Chill out! <laughs> uh, we can't go through here. So I go back here. Uh, the door looks openable, yes. I mean, police has weapons here, of course, as well. But I think when I first, like, as a kid, go into the airport, I was like, why the fuck do these... Why do they have, like, actual guns? Like, what are these military... What are these soldiers doing here? I mean, for obvious reasons, but... Yeah. Oh. Uh... I opened something up. Now boarding. 18. Now boarding. I'm too late. I'm two hours late for my own... I can't, I can't reach. I'm two hours late for my plane. Uh, there was one time where I was late for, there's been a single time in my life and it was probably one of the most stressful experiences of my entire life where I was late for a plane completely out of my control to the degree of stupidity. Uh, I went, to, it's my last, it's actually the last vacation I've gone on. Uh, since, uh, well, ever. My last vacation. What the fuck? Yeah, I have not been paying attention, by the way. I mean, I'm have a holding out to a compass, but, uh, it was to Istanbul. And, what the hell? It's swapping now. The flight to Istanbul went without a hitch. Flawless. Um, however, the flight back was a disaster because the absolutely completely stupid taxi company had fucked up massively we had ordered a taxi like a one like a uh we have we had purchased a um uh a retour ticket a f ticket from the airport to our hotel and then from the hotel to the airport but these fucking idiots went when they somehow got it into their system that we have bought that we bought two single tickets from the airport to the hotel, from the airport to the hotel. Don't know how the fuck they came up with that idea. Excuse me? 
So we were just sitting in our hotel waiting, time ticking by, getting uh, increasingly confused and anxious that our taxi wasn't arriving. We called the taxi company and they're like, yeah, wait, weren't were, were we supposed to pick you guys up at the airport? And we were like, no, that was, that was last time. Why the fuck were we going from the airport twice? How are we supposed to get to the airport? <laughs> What's this stupid idea you got in your head? So then they send the proper taxi, because obviously they knew they fucked up, so they sent a taxi. But we were already late. The taxi was already supposed to be there, so it took like 30 minutes before the taxi could get there. And then we had to go through like the absolute fucking hell that is Istanbul traffic. If you've ever been to Istanbul, you know it's literally, it's like California or something. It's like, it's just a big mess. Um, and we were like way too late way too late but the but it, and that made me realize that airplanes actually have uh, a huge like a huge buffer built in like there is so much time between where you're actually supposed to board and the plane leaves that situations like this are totally fine and totally fall within the bounds of error um because we were, we were on time. I mean, we actually, honestly, that was the shortest I've ever had to wait for a plane to leave. I was in the airport, and we were in the airport, and we were on our plane within like an hour, and uh, the plane left like five minutes later. <laughs> so honestly, maybe it was a positive experience if you frame it that way. Uh, but yeah, that's one of those things where like you're... I mean, there was another case when I was in Barcelona with my friends. And I think that was our fault, though. Because we didn't print out... Oh, no, it wasn't our... I mean, it was kind of. <laughs> we were in... Um, we went to Barcelona printing out our tickets at home. But then they only release... They, you guys have must have had this as well. They only release your tickets, like, a, a few days before you're supposed to take the flight. So then you're supposed to print out this ticket... And in a foreign country where you have no printer uh, So you're like, how the fuck am I gonna do this? And then the airport Wi-Fi is so bad You can't even have it on your phone because the airport Wi-Fi doesn't allow you to load it I remember we called like our parents and then our parents had to send it through WhatsApp Because WhatsApp was like the only thing that was remotely functioning And then we had to like <laughs> print it out that way Uh but it was, uh... And, they, and the people there were just like, we were asking like, hey, we have tickets, they're online, can we print them out? And they were just like, no, it's your problem, you gotta fix it. We were like, well, we have the tickets, they're like, they're online, can't we just like log in and show you the tickets? Like, why? I mean, honestly, it was our problem, but no, always screenshot, yeah, we couldn't. That was the problem, because the tickets were only released uh, um, excuse me! I thought we were chilling. I thought we were chilling. Yeah, they don't print boarding passes or something. That was Barcelona, though. That wasn't... Was it Barcelona? I think it was Lisbon, actually, now that I think about it. It was either of the two. Um... There's something. Uh, it crawled in here. Don't like that. Better just get your own plane. Yeah, let me just buy a plane real quick. Ah! <laughs> Fucking aliens! Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that real? Am I crazy? The fucking alien, brother! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> what is that? What the hell? <laughs> so, what the fuck? He's just a little dude, man. Oh. Can I not? Am I gonna press E on this? Oh. I'm um, insanely strong. Uh, what the hell? That's cool. <laughs> the little fella. 
They do print tickets. I mean, the thing is, so they only release your boarding passes a few days. I, unless that was just the way it went there. I don't know if that's the way it went everywhere, but they only release your, they like allow you to download your boarding passes uh, for the retour flight uh, a few days before the plane goes. You can't just like download them. Oh, uh, there's another fucking alien. What the hell's with these aliens? <laughs> oh yeah, check into your flight. I think that was my, I don't know. I forgot what it was, but there was something that was only available uh, a few days before. If I'm thinking back on it, I think airplanes are just the most stressful thing. Cause if you miss it, it's so fucked. Especially if you're in a foreign country. That must have been so stressful for so many people that got stuck when COVID first happened. Dude, that must be like... We got like this shared... freaking zeitgeist experience of like a... a moment in time where... everything just got locked down out of nowhere. Also... that thing is still red. What's this? What are you looking at, huh? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What if I take a picture of this? Right. I can get this to sharp. Get sharp! There. Let's show it. Don't make that jump scare noise when I open my inventory, fucking aliens! Okay, nothing on there. I was just making sure. I got the red key now. We got already took all the photos. I guess I'll go to the exit using this thing. I was just checking out some secrets. Yeah, I was insanely lucky that I traveled, uh, what? I think I'm supposed to go this way. It was two months before everything shut down, so that was, uh, very lucky. I don't think we're supposed to go here. No, I think I'm supposed to stay on the other side. I don't know why I got a shortcut over here. This is the entrance. Mostly just people who got stuck in um in other places like if your flight got canceled um while you were still in your home country that doesn't really that doesn't count for me uh there's a red door right over there the exit this is the exit but this is where i came from oh but we needed the key through here of course What the fuck is this music? I wonder what what kind of airports look like this. I don't think I mean this is the type of floor you see on an airport. Just the fact that there's so much carpet everywhere that is definitely not something I'm used to in airports. Oh, we're going to like a movie theater? Movie theater. I got flight delayed achievement. Movie theater? Hotel, never mind. Oh, this is... Yup. That's a hotel. That's my car still. <laughs> it is. Taking a photo. Taking a photo of your kitty. Have I played Madison? Absolutely amazing game. Highly recommend if you haven't seen me play that game. Love the setup. Check in counter. Hello, I would like to just break through here. <laughs> I can't jump up there. Okay. Going this way first. Employee only. That's me. I work here now. There's no one to stop me. Best passing simulator. Exactly. I can't open. I did not do that. Is someone in there trying to break out? Oh, you can turn off the lights. Why would I want to do that? In Washington for the second day, Budget Director Burt Lamb appeared before the Senate Governmental Affairs Committee, but today much of the committee's time was taken up with wrangling among themselves instead of questioning Lamb. ABC's Dan Foote has the tape. The hearings were scarcely underway when Senator Eagle of Missouri, clearly in Lamb's 
just some old timey pol political news. Dude, I thought he was bald on one side of his head. I'm sorry, the old TV doesn't do your hair justice. I'm gonna leave that just there. Maybe someone else wants to watch that. Oh, can we get some? Give it to me! Wait, can't eat this? Yummy. I ate it with my face. So everything that's green you can interact with. Oh, I kicked it around. This is my favorite place so far. Hotels are pretty, like... There's almost never someone in the hallways in a hotel. A pretty effective liminal space. Like, when you walk around in places like this, it's usually just an empty hallway like this. Tactical Serpent, thank you for the four months. Thank you. Oh, I hear another one. There's many locks here. Hotels are pretty creepy. There's like a bunch of shared apartment spaces that are also very creepy like this. Uh, that's the exit. I don't think I can go there yet. I have barely taken any photos, my friends. I don't want to go there. Um, already went through here. Didn't go, nope. I have walked through all this hallway. Use this. Uh, where are you pointing at? There you go. I was exploring on my own. Ooh, exit? Are there exit? Multiple exits? This is not the real exit. You lied to me. Oh, there's a little alien dude. Hello there, Mr. Alien. I'm gonna get a nice shot of your face, okay? How do I sharpen on you? It's too dark in here. I'm just gonna back off a little. Did he just run away? Is that what that is? What? Is that, the, is that Sadie Eliza? Thank you for the 17 months. Who is sitting here just watching the world go by in a hotel? Oh, I hate hotels. Uh, I mean, I love mo I love motels and hotels, but hotels that I like have on their page, we have Wi-Fi. And then, with that, like, fine print, only in the lobby. Fuck you! That's not Wi-Fi! That doesn't count! <laughs> you peas? I don't want to have to sit in the fucking lobby with some randos. Oh. If I can't watch YouTube videos and, uh, before bed, it doesn't count. Also, this place is very dark. Don't like this place. This is the breakfast hall. There's something so incredibly freeing about going to a uh, a bed and breakfast hotel or like a, a hotel with breakfast included. Um, is there gonna be a pool? <gasps> there is a pool. Whoa, this is a fancy hotel. Oh, I didn't reload. This is, this is actually genuinely the fanciest pool I've ever seen in a hotel ever. I don't think I've ever seen a pool this size. Can I jump? I can't. Oh my god, I can't swim. I'm like Ellie from The Last of Us. What the fuck, man? I got an achievement called Amateur. I'm a tour. That's really cool. What the hell's bind here? Ah, oh, alien! Hey there, Mr. Alien. Don't know what I get for freeing you. Don't know if hotels still do it or if they... Or motels especially. Or if they gotten more environmentally friendly, but there was something so weirdly amazing about getting like a foam 
or like some kind of cup of coffee putting like some lid on it and just like getting s five of those everyone eat gets their coffee get in the car and boom you're off to the next location at like 7 a.m in the morning it's very good stuff i love travel is that's those the memories are mostly uh what the hell excuse me wasn't this uh breakfast hall just a second ago Wait, what? what are you guys looking at? This game is actually in... <laughs> it's very successful in being creepy. Um, oh, it swapped. I don't know if I'm missing them. This place is big. I'm just. It's hard to know where they where the thing is pointing to. Is it like through the wall here? I think. I think it just doesn't care about walls. It just points through them. As if the walls aren't there. How the fuck? Oh, out there? How am I supposed to get out there? I can't go through the door, you weirdo. There's an exit right. Well, maybe I can. I don't know. I haven't even tried. Maybe that's my problem. No, I can't go out here. Maybe take him through the window. It's like extremely close to me. It's right here. It's probably upstairs. No, it can't be. I'm just running this way because the other place I feel like we've explored everything. Employee. Oh, the television is still on there. I can't go in this employee only area. Uh, we can go up this way. And we can find them. Oh, we're going way higher this time. Uh, whoops, didn't refresh. New place. It better not be... It better not be that weirdo... Puppy? What? I can pick up anything? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna redecorate this place. That looks much better. There you go. Symmetrical. That's how we like it. I see one. Can I get one of these? Can I get some crystal? Oh, yeah! That's such an interesting thing. We, so we, when we went to the US, I don't know if that's a, a US thing or, because I haven't been in many hotels outside of the US, because when we go to Europe, we usually went to like a, like a, an Airbnb of some sorts. Uh, but in the US, they have these like ice machines everywhere. Like every floor will have these giant ice machines. And there's people that just come by that like fill an entire bucket with ice and then just like leave <laughs> or like how else would you get ice just not at all i never have like ice ice is like a thing you get in your soda when you go to a restaurant it, ice is not for for consumers ice is for fancy places American guests are always baffled that you guys don't have ice machines. Oh! There's two here. <laughs> Ooh, there's a key. That's the same video I already watched. This. Oh, God, alien. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, what's this? Oh, I can turn off the light here. What is this? I know it's just a lamp, but it like kind of. Oh, I can turn it off and on. Oh, there's metronomes outside. What is that? Oh, it's a lantern. Hotels in Florida have massive pools. I've never been to Florida. Only been to the west coast of the US. Uh, I should probably use this to find the last one here. Probably gonna be on this floor, huh? Oh, uh huh. Wh wait, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me. I'm gonna watch a cartoon? <laughs> a 
copyright incoming? It's just the intro. It's not actually gonna play the. Co oh, come on, man. I wanted to watch. It's just the intro. Alright. I don't know if it's still up here. Wait, this continues here? I'm pretty sure this is point should be pointing downwards, like the guy's machine again. So when we went to the US, we bought it was the best purchase of all time. We had to put it in the garbage dump because we couldn't take it to back home because it would have been like very annoying luggage to have. Um but uh highly recommend if you go to like the US or some faraway place where you like rent a car and everything and you do these long like a road trip somewhere else to buy a cool box, especially in the US I guess because that's the only place you can get ice easily, but to buy a cool box and then just fill it with ice every time you go to a hotel and you just have like cold drinks forever. It's amazing. There's another locked door. It's right here. I don't know if I'm going the right way. That cool box saved our lives. Probably literally. Oh, there's another lucky. This, uh, what is this? Because we got lost in the desert one time and we almost had a flat tire out there. This is fucked. I can't zoom in. I don't know why you even. Oh, there. It's like extremely precise. Uh, I did not even mean to pick that up. Cool box, never heard of it that way. What do you guys call it? Cooler? Oh. We call it a cool box. Because it's cool and it's a box. It's a cool box. You know? It's extremely descriptive. descriptive. You knew what I meant. Oh, excuse me. No, thank you. I am just chilling here. I wish to not engage with you. What the fuck is this musical chair setup you got going on here? Excuse me. Where is he? Oh, you went in there. Is there an alien here? What the heck? Are you barricading your own bathroom in? You broke the bathroom door. Alright, I'm leaving. Exit door right there. This is my favorite location so far. Also the most creepy events. <laughs> Ice chest? Don't be pretentious about it. Checking out achievement. Ice chest here. Yeah, this is my ice treasure. Uh, what? Suburb? The true United States experience is about to begin. This is more of a Canadian experience with this kind of weather, though. Quiet pines. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. This does give me, like, when I first played... Anamoya Polis, like the demo, not the full game. The full game of Anamoya Polis was terrible, but the demo was amazing. Uh, oh, what? Hey, I saw you over there. Don't hide from me. Can I talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? You can't hide from me. Maybe we can get in through the back. Nope. I'm a psycho right now. I'm I'm pacing around your house like an absolute serial killer. I'm sorry. I'm taking a photo of your house though. It's very pretty. I don't know how to There. Nice. Uh why'd you put this on the road? This is dangerous, man. Someone's gonna fall or the car is gonna hit it and then explode it, I guess. If the car won't be damaged, it's fine. Maybe it'll get pushed though and like break a window somewhere. Yeah, I'm responsible. Uh, bicycle. This bicycle looks extremely sad. <laughs> That's the saddest bicycle I've ever seen. No U-turn here. How the fuck are you supposed to get out if there's no U-turn? Wait, what? 
What the hell? What's this sign supposed to mean? Is this a road that goes to nothing? How are you... T if you go here, you're stuck forever? You can't turn around? Oh, you're driving reverse. I see, of course. <laughs> I am not paying attention to actually the objective of the game anymore. I'm just distracted by the environments. Probably missed one back. No, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. We'll find it. This is a very nice neighborhood. Everyone is very into Christmas here. Oh, I hear a heartbeat. Hello, I see you. You're in there. Why could I open that? What the f oh, I thought this was in the middle of the road. Nope, it's not. Oh, hi. I'm ding donging on your door. <laughs> You're gonna be so mad when they open that door. They're gonna be so mad. Okay, what the fuck are these? A <laughs> ding dong ditch. That that's what they call it in the in the US. Or in the English language. Um yeah, these kind of cars. I mean this is a small one. But it's crazy how many what are, what do they call like semi trucks, I think is the official name for them. They're like monsters, man. I watched a video SUVs. Yeah, SUVs. Did you know I I don't know I remember I was watching a video about like the invasion of SUVs in the US It's like insane like more than 50% of the like personal driven cars are SUVs in the US and the only reason why is because the car manufacturers have like lobbied I think it had to do with the emissions uh like every car has to has to have a certain like uh amount of emissions like an, it can't go too high for the environment but uh, the car manufacturers lobbied that this shouldn't apply to semi trucks because they're different types of vehicles uh and then they just only sold people semi trucks they went like you if you're a true american you need a semi truck even though they're like extremely bad for the environment they're what the hell the fbi is here they're coming to get your semi truck they're extremely annoying to drive around you never use the extra cargo space you have because it's way too much like and, and the thing is that even just a regular like station wagon has more actual usable cargo space than an suv like it's crazy that they're like marketed as like the cool car when they're just like I mean I guess most people are like you're compensating for your small penis when they see an SUV I mean that's that's what people do in the in EU I don't know if it's the same for in the US because there must be a lot of people with small penises in the US if more than 50% of the people drive them um I mean maybe it's just maybe it's just a nationwide pandemic of small peepees Maybe that's where they're all. Maybe, maybe that's why they need guns too to compensate for all the small BBs. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make everyone angry. What the fuck happened in this place, by the way? Oh, there it is. We've cracked the code. I'm ding donging. What are you doing? I see one over there. Uh, is this a fucking meteor? Excuse me. Wait. Is this the aftermath of a meteor crash? Is this where the aliens come from? What the hell? It's like smoking. What are you doing? Whoa. chilling there. I feel like the world kind of came to a halt here, huh?
hear sounds in here. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, people, like, SUVs are marketed as, like, you're so safe in the giant car, and that's because everyone else is extremely unsafe. It's like, it's like a game of chicken. It's like the prisoner's dilemma where if everyone was just driving like normal vehicles, everyone would be better off. But because some fuckos drive SUVs, everyone has to drive an SUV, otherwise you fucking die. Luckily that's, I mean, it's, it's happening more and more in the every place. Like SUVs are invading other places, but it's crazy how there's such a like US thing. You don't realize it until you go to other places, like how little semi trucks or SUVs you see when you go to Europe or something. A water tower. For some reason, when I see water tower, I always think Warner Brothers. Or like, what was that fucking Animaniacs? That one. I mean pickup truck? Yeah, I mean same thing, right? Isn't a pickup truck also a semi truck? SUV is a semi truck, pickup truck is a semi truck. No? Okay, then I, I'm talking about semi trucks. Oh, I'm talking about the fucking these things. I'm talking about where was it? Not th these are like European cars, like the tiny bitches. I'm talking about those like the the these, this one, this one right here. I forgot what it was called. That's a pickup truck. I mean, same thing. I guess it's a full truck. What? So a semi truck is bigger than a pickup truck? Why is a pickup truck a full truck and a semi truck a semi truck? Isn't semi half? I don't understand. Fucking words are hard. Uh, alien time, alien time! Google it. I'm playing a video game. I'm so confused. Oh, it's back here, actually. There's one right here. Did I miss it? This seems a little further than your... Oh, yeah, I missed one right here at the... It's just the, you know, the US, like the four wheel drive, uh, pickup truck. Cause they're not just pickup trucks. There's also like these kind of like, this is not a big one, by the way. There's like man high. If you look at like the size of some cars, they're actually fucking massive. This is a pickup truck. Yeah, but there's also like non pickup trucks like that. There's also trucks that don't have like the back being open, but they're still like big like that. I see it over there. Okay, so SUVs. Yeah, SUVs is what I guess SUVs is what I'm talking about. But people were gaslighting me that no, this is an SUV. You're talking about a semi truck. SUVs and or uh, you're talking about pickup truck. SUVs and pickup truck are both. You're not getting out of this. You got a small penis. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not getting in the way this easily. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're like, oh no, you're, you're trying to get out of this on a technicality. No, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> there you go. Only one more. This house is freaking sinking here, by the way. You see the shit? There was a meteor here. This is cool. They're way too large and unnecessary. SUV is the soccer mom car. At least they got a nice Christmas. I mean, it doesn't seem like a very nice Christmas if their whole town got hit by a meteor. I mean, but the size of that crater, I guess the size of the crater doesn't mean that the meteor was that big because that this whole place would be, would be leveled to the ground. Uh, there's a playground. Oh, uh, hi there. He just disappeared. I was going to take a photo of you. There was a person sitting there. 
I did it. I'm taking the scenic route back. Alright, never mind. It's complete the opposite way. I gotta go there. Can I go play on the playground, please? Why can't I play on the play? Oh, I can. It's just a little finicky. Oh my god, I can't go through here. I'm so mad. Shadows of the ghosts that lived there in the past. Is this a new fatal frame? I know there was a new fatal frame that came out. I think I got a code for it. But I never played it. <clears throat> uh, where the hell is the exit? Exit where we came from? Ah, can you think of the 15? How's the water getting out of this water tower? Isn't that a weird thing? Why do water... Is there, a, like, a cable running from a water tower? How does the water get out of a water tower? And why is it a tower? Couldn't it just be a water, like... I don't know. Water bucket? <laughs> why does it have to be a tower? Oh, yes! I love this type of flooring! This is honestly the reason why I love why I actually the more I thought about Security Breach like the the FNAF game the more I enjoyed it because of the like strong thematic flooring and like the different areas feel so much like a Oh yes. Oh yes. The theater. So much like a like either a theater or like a play air, play place. Kid City, any Dutch people in the chat? Is Kid City still around? One of the best places to go ever. I, I don't know if they have multiple locations. Kid City honestly was my first introduction to horror. Because they had this like horror quest where you would go into these pipes and there would be this like... This like a uh, deep voice going like, it's like talking about how someone like disappeared and, and they were last seen around the dragon. And then there's like this other dragon playground area. And then you go to the dragon and then you have to find the pipe at the dragon area. And then it tells, but she didn't stay there for long. She went to the, and then it's like another area of the, of the, the kid city. So you like, you get from place to place. It was really cool. What's so cool? Yeah, that was amazing. Turning off all the lights. No, I'm not. Miss Mick, thank you for the hundred biddies. Like a treasure hunt, yeah, but like a like a, a dark themed treasure hunt, because you would go into these like super dark pipes uh, to listen to the the semi horse. I mean, it was a kid's place, so just having a dark. Or uh, just having like a dark uh, pipe and a deep voiced person talking to you is already horror. <laughs> Doesn't even have to actually say anything scary. Have I done any escape rooms? I love escape rooms. You gotta be careful though. I know I've done this rant before. You gotta be careful of the escape rooms that are proudly presenting how few people actually complete their escape rooms. Those are the worst. You gotta stay away from those. I know it's marketing, like, but those are the worst escape rooms because they're just nonsensical BS. And they're meant to be, which I guess all makes sense. From a marketing perspective, it's like, you can be the smartest. Or am I playing something? Oh, the lights. Dimming and the movie movie is starting. Yes. Why is the the sharpening is so fucked, man? Just do auto focus, man. I'm a zoomer. No flash during the movie. Oh, I just got arrested. The fucking is that a coffin? Is that Dracula? 
We're gonna get tackled by some random 50 or random 16 year old working at the theater. Is this Dracula? It may kill you. Therefore, its producers feel they must assure free burial services to anyone who dies of fright while seeing the screaming skull. What? Reserved for you, for me? What the fuck? <clears throat> what the hell is going on? <laughs> a 1950s movie this looks like just regular this looks like fucking stock footage froggy <laughs> screaming skull <laughs> excuse me is this a whole movie <laughs> They, they, that would actually be so interesting if they had like a semi you know that feeling of going to a movie and then leaving the movie and being like wait there's like a whole day still going on here my life just changed like i went into the movie theater for two hours i got into like some fucking time trance like i stepped into a time machine and then i leave it and you guys expect me to still act like a normal person the rest of the day what the fuck dude Alright, I'm leaving. Uh, oh, KJ, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Night of the Living Dead. Okay, I should be holding this out. Oh, I don't have a key. Hey, what's up, KJ? I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just kind of exploring. Frankenstein. The monster walks. Is that actually a title of a horror? No, oh, thank you. Halloween. Horror movie. Oh, of course, the toilet. Classic. I haven't gone to the movie in so long. I wanted to watch uh, the new Avatar. Just didn't get around to do it. I don't have this key. Yeah, I know it's in there, but I can't go in there, you piece. Free reusable plastic cup. Oh my God, sign me up right now. Mario movie? Anyone watched the Mario? Oh, wait, that's, oh, that was red, but it looked pink. <laughs> oh, another movie theater. You don't enjoy going to the cinema alone? I genuinely couldn't care less. What is even the point of going? I mean, I don't think I've ever gone alone, but I don't see why it would change anything. you're just like, you're not really talking to people during the movie anyway although it is like a fun shared experience so you can share that feeling of like what the fuck is going on after the movie an image they got so much footage here what the hell <laughs> sometimes you're not watching the movie either are you talking about that shit that happened i i remember i'm, I'm going on a fucking crazy tangent here uh, I went to London and I, uh, for some reason, one day we had, uh, we had this idea that like there was this afternoon where you could just do, it was with school and there was the afternoon night of the living dead. <laughs> Excuse me. You can just watch the whole movie here. We, <laughs> we went to a movie theater and, as like our, our afternoon thing, just for some reason. And it was just like weird 
movie theater in this like kind of commercial not a like a an office building district like an office district of of london it was very like out of the i don't know what exactly it was like a obviously a non-touristy place and it was the fucking stickiest dirtiest nastiest theater there was like two other people i'm pretty sure they were doing unholy things in the back of the theater. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, it was not the place to be. <laughs> and we were just like, we were just like five, five kids. Just, I forgot which movie we watched. I, I really don't remember. Anyway, this is like actually just a whole movie here. What the fuck? That's kind of cool though, because then you could sit here and kind of emulate that feeling. If you just kind of get so into it. I like that they actually did that. Th that's above and beyond. I mean, obviously it's not... I mean, pretty probably this stuff is already so old that it's in the public domain at this point. Because it's uh, such insanely old movies. Was there anything in here, by the way? <laughs> They're talking. Uh, I can't even jump over here. Excuse me. What the fuck? This compass sucks. Was there? Did I? I guess I just got the green key in here. And the living dead, or night of the living dead. I got that too. I'm gonna block you. What the fuck? All right, I'm leaving. Wee. I don't remember where there wasn't the green key back here. Did I do I have a stamina bar? I didn't realize. I thought I could just sprint forever. Is this green? It doesn't look green. It's not green, it's blue. Okay, just was just making sure. I don't think I've gone down yet. I'm just checking this hallway. This is a massive theater. Aha. Another one. Are you kidding me? Eight minutes. What? Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. Is that nut butter? Did you say that? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why is the sausage doing a backflip? What the hell? Uh, this is cursed. I don't think this is meant for my innocent eyes. Oh, that's the same theater, of course. Danger. Demolition in progress. Ah, uh, I already been here? Guessing yes. Did I turn on the movie though? Oh, this is... Is it looping the first part? I think I already seen that part. They used to show that during intermission of the drive-in. Is that actually like a thing? I thought that's only like a thing that happens in movies about the or in shows about the u.s are there actually like drive-in theaters i don't think I've, dude i've already fucking stop leading me here i'm going down wait where's down yes the thing in the 50s but a few still exist it seems like the worst experience the uh, like the worst way to experience a movie possible. Okay, I think it's not gonna be here. We're just checking if there's any way to use a key here. Okay, not here. Some of them broadcast sound over the radio. Wait, that's so fucked. <laughs> that's gonna get the worst experience of all time. Where the hell did we use the green key? Did we go this way? Is there like a green key this way? It would have been useful during the pandemic. Very true. This is all blocked off. 
looks green here. Maybe this is it. Been there. Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. Enjoy the movie. I've been eating, like, popcorn has been my go-to snack lately. What the fuck? Uh, there's a key hanging from there? Excuse me. Uh, are you kidding me? Why is the place so moldy? What, are we gonna, st gonna start a movie here? beast what is this fucking square movie what the hell that's blood huh I'll take a photo of that just to know that I'm not crazy the highest fidelity one so far oh god it's the she beast oh wait it burnt it burned through the tape <laughs> it burned through the the film you're gonna be an alien here alien dude hi there alien guy goodbye all right i want to leave demon ream thank you for the eight months I need to leave before this guy jumps me. Now we have the blue key, which we know where to use that one. I'm glad they gave you the compass so you wouldn't go like aimlessly run around. Oh, well, no, this is here too. And I go out this way. And then obviously there's gonna be one in the blue door. It's all the way back there, I, I guess. Yeah, I wonder if the guy from, I hope the guy from the start had a great lunch. Um, where's the blue, the blue, blue door at the blue light, of course. It's the exit? Are we missing one? I guess we're missing one. Where's this last one? Is it just out in the open somewhere? I'm just being a silly goober? Are you a hunter in this game? What does that even mean? A blinky lights back here? I don't know if I went all the way back here. Excuse me. Is there an alien back here? Um. Aha! There is! I don't know what you get for any for these aliens. It's in here. What movie are you playing? We haven't... I mean, maybe that was the yum yum thing? Oh, there. Up there. We're gonna get probed later. What the hell? I got an achievement called Film Collector. What is that for? Starting all the films? Start each theater projector. <laughs> Moon of the Wolf. Did. Fire. Doggy? They could work on the sound design of these. <laughs> like if I was in that theater, I would be very upset. I could barely hear what they're what they're talking about. Okay, and now exit through here. I need to rewind my tape as well. We can take a photo if a cursed monster shows up. Prove that we're not insane. Fatal Frame time game? I mean, I've never played Fatal Frame, so I couldn't tell you. Through the blue door. 
I haven't tried getting to these doors without having all the photos. I'm assuming they don't open. Alrighty, well that was an amazing location. Late night sh showing achievement. Theaters are mostly packed where I live. Oh, where are we now? School? Uh-huh. I actually really hate these kind of hand dryers that have like a button for them because they always like you click on the button and then it lasts for like three seconds and you're like constantly fucking smashing the button. So annoying. Whoever designed those needs to fix themselves. The best ones are those like air blade ones where you just like have this like u form thing, U-shaped thing, and you put your your hands in there. Those are the best by far. Dyson. Oh. Uh-huh. There might have been so many... Harpy? Is that blood on the ground? There might have been so many cursed things that I missed in the background while being extremely distracted. Why are you still pointing this way? I, th I guess it's through the door. I can't go through that door, my friend. My friend's the compass. By the way, I'm if you if you have a if you used to have a locker like this in school, you're insanely uh, lucky because I had the tiniest itty bitty bitch locker of all time. It's like tiny square. You had no lockers at all. Okay, you win. You win. That's even sadder. How the fuck do you have no locker, though? Did you have no books either? How the fuck are you supposed to carry your books? Like, that's where the whole meme of, like, first graders having, like, these giant backpacks come from. Because they don't have any locker management yet. They don't know how to deal with, like, manage putting stuff in their lockers. Because you get... Because they're so fucking anxious. Like, but what if I need my book? But what if I am at home and I want to do homework and I don't have my book? Just take your book home, then. You can figure it out, man. Like, you, you... Most of the books you just leave in your locker, like, forever. There were books that I never took home. I just left them forever. And only took them out when I needed them. For specific, uh... Classes. You kept all your book at homes? At home... All your books at homes? <laughs> what the fuck? Why? That's so heavy. I guess, I guess maybe... How long were your classes? Because we had 90 minute classes. I think it, it got changed to 70, but... I forgot what the fuck. But anyway. Um, we had 90 minute classes. Also, I got an achievement called Shutterbug. You have 45 minute classes? That's even worse! Then you're gonna have like 100 books! You're gonna have so many books, dude. Or did you only... I don't know. Did some classes not have books? Or did you have the books in the classes? I don't understand. Your backpack must have been a fucking... Oh, can I score? Can I throw like this? But... Ah! Okay, that's not gonna work. Maybe I can underhand it. Look at this. Oh, oh my god, that's that's totally possible. Oh, oh come on. Oh fuck. <laughs> Wait, what if I throw it backwards? Come here. Wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this fucking shot, dude. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, I got this. I can do this. Huh. Fuck! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I hate it here. Whatever. Get me out of here. Oh! Don't play around in the underground. 040723. What? Excuse me? I don't know. Is that the release date? Oh, that's the release date of the of the game, I see. Something is in the walls. We did not have a, um, like these kind of things. You were not, I don't know. Do you, did you guys have like, because you always see that in the, in the US that they have these like teams. They have like the basketball team. They have the X team, the Y team. And then they like do, what is this all about? Oh. Did you like school school sports? We did not do any of that. We just had PE and that was all. I have the yellow key. Like there wasn't uh, like prestige in being part of the school soccer club or whatever the fuck. What the hell's been crawling through these walls? What is this black shit? Excuse me. Who pooped all over the floor? Sounds boring. I don't know. The fuck? Hey, Toadie, thank you for the six months. <clears throat> Go to class. We did not have a bell, by the way. Is that actually a thing? Do you guys have a bell? We just had like... Oh, it's time. Get the fuck out of my class. <laughs> you guys, is bells are extremely common. I, I was totally, we were totally fine without a bell. It's just like everyone knows when the class ends. And it was the best shit ever because you could fool your teachers into being like, no, today it's actually shorter. It's 80 minutes instead of 90 minutes. And then some fucking idiots would be like, all right, sure. They'd probably be trolling us. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's exactly why they have. <laughs> that's exactly why they have the bells, so they don't, so people don't get trolled. <laughs> the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. Okay, this, I see. There's some academic strategies. I don't know what it says. Read is the second one. Wait, we got all the photos. I just kind of cruise through this one. It's interesting to hear how, how different lengths of classes. I think we had 70 minute classes by the end, but I, it was way better. Cause some days we'd have like 45 minute, um, like it was like a short day because the, the teachers had to like do some meetings or whatever the fuck. So they would have like a shorter day and then all the classes would be 45 minutes longer or long instead of longer than that. Uh, it's way better. You have so much time for everything. You only have two class. You had two uh, classes or two 90 minute sessions every. I think I forgot it was 90 or 80. I thought it was 90. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Two 90 minute sessions per week per uh, subject. And you would actually be, be able to do stuff in that time. It wasn't just the teacher yelling at you and like. Uh, just saying stuff, but you actually had time to like get into your homework, do some of your homework and like Basically, if you worked normal at normal speed, you didn't have any homework ever You could just finish everything in the 90 minute classes Because there was always like a part of that that was for uh, Doing your homework It was it was actually really nice Oh Mall, yeah <laughs> Electronic depot I had this like, this weird childish urge, I guess. Oh, we're getting it, gumball. Never had one of those. It's a very grainy gumball. Um, to check out like a toy store, to see what they sell in terms of toys nowadays. I'm guessing it's not very different from what they used to sell when I was a child.
You had four nine. Oh, what's this? We have a room for rent. Call zero eleven. Wait. Zero one thirteen twenty three. What happened on the thirteenth of January this year? Was that the launch of the demo or something? Uh, oh, I see one over there. I don't know if I already ran past one. Oh, there's one in the middle here. Cost Mart. The hell is the music playing here? Delilah's. Hey there, Delilah. Of course, there's got to be mannequins. Oh. I can carry you around. You're coming with me, mannequin. We're going on an adventure. Dude, you're spinning. You spin my head right round. Whee! <laughs> Holy shit. Whee! I'm sorry. Uh huh. There's the shopping cart again. Kind of strange to have a shopping cart in it. In a mall. I guess if you need to this thing is there's no friction here. Excuse me If there's also a grocery store or something There's usually not that many Like I mean most malls Aren't there like 10,000 Walmarts in the US or something most malls are like inside of a wall or like I Don't know. I guess you don't call that a mall, but you don't really have like I don't really I mean I personally never go to stores like that because they're not anywhere near me But stores where there's like other stores inside the store. That's kind of crazy That's wild man Fuck this music is all of a sudden getting quiet over here books and things. I love books and things. In here. Pro repair. Malls all over the US are actually failing and losing money. Most of the ones you go to will always have empty shops. Now what the heck? What's happening to the malls? Is that because people didn't go outside for a long time? Right. Six out of 17, by the way. Holy shit. Get one over there. I can't take this one. I can't. Peace. Is that an alien back here? Oh, it's a light. Oh, I opened something up. Why? What the hell is this? Why did it pop up like a little fucking... <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, thank you for showing me, I guess. But what the hell? Previously, you had it in like a, on a TV screen, not on like a HUD overlay. What is shiny over here? Oh, it's just droplets. Oh, what's this? Effies? Effies? Oh, it's the arcade. No more Texas, just popcorn. Ashkin, get out of my way because I want to take a photo of this alien that's back here. Ah, uh, never mind. Wait, the code, 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 code. Zero, eleven, zero, zero, one, thirteen, twenty-three, right? Denied! Wait, didn't I just type it? What? What was the first one? First one was zero, four, zero, six. 723 what the fuck all right maybe we got to find a code somewhere excuse me <clears throat> 69 69 69 nice dude this is one crazy music over here mega sale There were more- oh, there's many around here. Let's 
lady again? <clears throat> yeah, where are the tickets? <laughs> I mean, this is already such a better... Oh, hi there. Such a better uh, idea than having the ticket system. What the f Oh, there's a key. Uh, did he disappear into this black blob again? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. What was that, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? I just got tooted on. <laughs> Echo on that part. <laughs> Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Hang it. Uh, only candles. Candles very underrated. Cash for checks. Love myself a good Santa candle. There's some people that can't stand scented candles though. My brother will like he can smell them from anywhere. You can't get a scented candle past him and he fucking hates them. But I they're so good. Any aliens here? We got a key now. I love only specific scents. I like almost any scent I've tried. I will. This is not red, by the way. You're pink. You liar. And what is this? Pantry favorites. This is the thing from the Steam store. It drew me in. Nice sound. Baked foods. Came back here. Very comfy. Oh, Jesus Christ, a heartbeat. Five more. So I have to, or I could probably jump over here. Maybe not. Cannot. Blue key. I remember seeing something with a blue key earlier. Depends on the scent for you. Yeah, I know some people have like, I don't know. They get like headaches from them or something. Yeah, the reflections are very strong here. I can't get through here. But I love, uh, I don't know. Just better than regular air to me. Although the thing with candles is that if you have like a not very well ventilated room, you genuinely uh, like steal all your oxygen and you like suffocate yourself. Hey, come on. Strong smells make your nose sensitive. But where was the door? I don't remember. The worst smell is when you blow them out. That's why you gotta have something like this. You gotta have... Like, put the lid on the candle. So it goes out with the lid. And, and then you don't have any scent. You didn't expect I'd have a fucking giant scented candle next to my <laughs> scent. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> They're fucking goaded. <laughs> Massive candle. This one is uh, what is it again? It's the top one is vanilla. It's vanilla. Called cafe sweets. Vanilla, caramel, and chocolate. I think. But it's like three layers. So first you get vanilla, then you get caramel, and then you get chocolate. It's very yummy. That Woodwick? Yes, they make like very nice noise. Literally not sponsored at all. I just like the products. They're very expensive though, like unnecessary expensive. But I tried like cheaper ones, like this one. 
which is like from my local store. You need to have a lid on them, but this one doesn't smell so. It smell it smells like like hand soap, but it's not. It just doesn't fill the room with a smell. Like it, I don't know. Some people are like, I like those scents. Those scents. It's a it's a nice smell. It's called Dawn. It's like a jasmine that kind of smell. Um, people like softer smells, but when I light a candle, I want it to like fill the room with like a powerful punch of scent in like 30 minutes. I want to have the room smell like that candle within like a limited amount of time. Because otherwise, like why even have a candle in the first place? Okay, where's this last one? I'm hotboxing myself with Santa's candles. There's one back here. Oh, come on. Don't tell me it's upstairs. Oh, I can go up here though. Have I tried incense? I have not. Ah, uh, what the fuck? This place is cursed, man. I'm gonna bang all of you guys. Ah! My back! Ah! <laughs> Get fucked. Hi. Happened. There's something. What's back there? I don't think I want to know. What the fuck? I'm not going there. Bye bye. Whee. Um. Mannequin. Holy shit! What a throw. Jesus. <laughs> what? Oh, is it outside time? What is this shit? Uh... I got an achievement called Dead Consumerism. We're back in the car, excuse me. It was all a dream? What? Maybe the guy's come back from his lunch. So we can now get our gasoline. Take a photo of yourself. Take a selfie. Don't throw it out, keep it. No! What the fuck is wrong with you? It's, it's gonna come back. What the hell? You broke it. It's gonna take a photo. Boom. <laughs> I fucking knew it. What the heck? Are they, what? I fucking speed ran that game? I thought it was supposed to be four hours long. All right. <laughs> I was like, where's this going? I actually really enjoyed that. I know it wasn't very scary, but it was actually really nice. <laughs> it was only two hours. Yeah, I mean, I still, I had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> Just mostly because, go I don't know what it is with liminal spaces. If you like this kind of like podcasty commentary, highly recommend you check out my playthrough of the demo of Animoiopolis because I went like off the deep end when it came to my experiences with swimming pools which I th there was no swimming pool section in this one but I really like I just really like these like liminal spaces and kind of like letting your mind wander and just like there were some like spooky there was some spooky creatures but it was mostly like just the atmosphere and like kind of prodding and poking at everything I wasn't expecting a little bit more when it came to the photos I gotta be honest like I was expecting I was expecting their to be some kind of mechanic that where if you took a photo you would then look at the photo and there would be something creepy in the photo like i wasn't expecting it to just be like go to the place take a photo and then walk away 
that was the one thing uh but besides that i i think it was a pretty freaking solid experience and i had a great time with that let me know what you thought i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join the love the game is you uh, here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash and somewhere click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> all righty the truth may still be out there excuse me what is with the truth all righty we're hopping into the next one which uh i'm glad i had a backup i, I very much enjoyed that i think it's also kind of what mind space you're in like i was in a pretty talky mind space um because uh they, they that could have been like a slow experience if you didn't have anything to say okay so now we're checking out the other horror game which is uh, from the creators of trenches i don't know if you remember um I don't know if anyone remembers Trenches. I kind of don't... I don't know if there's anyone here that could change my title. It could just be new this new horror game with the name of this game, which is The Voidness. Um, it's early access, apparently. Um, but it is a LiDAR... It's a... You know this style? The LiDAR thing? It's a, But it's not fully LiDAR. I don't really know much about it. I think we're just gonna hop in, we'll see how it goes, we'll see what it's like. Uh, I have no idea, but it should be... It's from the same creators who also made Trenches. It's like, it's not like Scanner Sombra, this is more like an actual horror game. Let's check the settings real quick. Um, pretty loud right now. Pretty insanely loud right now, actually. I'm gonna make it 70, there we go. Alright, let's hop in. Uh, maybe even quieter. 60. Let's see it. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, is the frame rate good? Uh, vertical, everything seems fine. I'm going to drink some water and then we're going to hop in. <sighs> All right, let's go. Our new game. Enemies have poor eyesight. Be sure to stay out of sight. What does it say? Press any key to step into the void. Sure. <laughs> if you look long enough into the void, the void begins to look back through you. Excuse me? We're in space? Jeebus. <laughs> Interstellar going on over here? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh, I'm just walking. Well then. What the hell happened here? Uh, alien isolation? What's, what's happening? Oh, we got... We've got these black cinematic bars going on. Uh, attention, sector doors power. All sector doors will shut down automatically in any case of emergency. Please use power switch lever to restore the sector's doors again. All right, here you go. <clears throat> Ego required. Do I have a key card? I do not have a key card. Um, can I interact with this machinery? Examine. What is this? Uh, Francesca Lee? Severe head trauma? List chief symptoms in order of severity. Severe head trauma, still recovering in med bay. Conca con concussion? Might occur. Okay, concussion might occur. Infection from damaged particles from the crash, such as, as hand and arm, left knee injured, which might recover quickly from. Okay, uh, reading that gave me a concussion. Um,. I do not have a key card. What is this thing? Nothing. Oh, well. <clears throat> trying to figure out what the hell you want. Can I use? I do not have a key card. Help me! Oh here. Aha! Give me the key card. Picked up personal key card. E boop. That is not how I expected that door to open. <laughs> I expected that to be a slidey door. <laughs> What the hell? What Find out what happens life? to your crew. What? We're gonna move chat because you're on top of the uh, objectives. 
gonna be over there. Uh, Jake William. Locker is locked. Requires authorized personnel. What's our name? Francesca, Francesca Lee. We have a... Oh, sweet baby boy. Aww. I will be back home soon. As promised. My beautiful son, I love you XXX. That's adorable. I press tab to open your inventory or see your objectives. I'm finding out what's wrong with my crew and why this place looks like so abandoned. This does not look like a spaceship. I, I don't think they would have tiled walls like this in a spaceship. I don't know if we're on a spaceship. These are very light sounding things. Uh, never mind. Guard, boom. Hello, oh, Jesus. You can hide on a desk like this one in any case that you need to. Do I need to? Oh, like this one. I see. Hide. Oh, I press E to hide. Uh, that makes me nervous. I don't want to have to hide. My heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. I'll move also slightly because I am on top of the health. What's my heartbeat doing? Excuse me. Boom. What is this? Uh, what the hell? Mission briefing. Eight pers personnels with the NCAS NASA, NASA space specialist will be ongo will be ongoing the mission. Can this... This, uh, can you please spell check your <laughs> your in-game messages because I am fucking losing my mind reading this. We'll be ongoing the mission to explore the unexplained void on the newly founded planet called Tenebris, which is named after the Latin, wor Latin word for darkness. The void is still in its early development studies, early development studies, but from early tests, it seems to be some kind of another dimension that is reported to be filled with just gloom. Two bases have been set up with equipment for all the personnel involved. Such equipment involves, for example, what the scientists call the rangefinder, which is a device that can act as a passageway into the gloom by spreading particles which allow people with a naked eye to see. It is still to be said if it leads to anywhere or if there is any life within it. The space specialist will be studying its existence and report back in a few years' time. Two bases will be set up. The first base will be located at the south area and consists of two sectors, which is sector 1 and 2. The second base will be set up north area, approximately 3.7 miles away. Both bases will be in direct communication with each other. Specialist base... Okay, there's just a bunch of people. We are 39-year-old person. I would like to do that. Thank you. Why, is, why are people Secure saying those that? powers off here too? I have to get through that door. Maybe, maybe I can contact base two and see what the hell is going on. Last panel, such as these, can be broken when you throw something at them. Is there anything here to throw? I don't think I can pick any of this up. Do I gotta go back to pick something up? I can pick up these boxes. Why am I so shaky when I run? I got this. Break this window. Oh yeah! That fell apart completely. Nice triangles. Um. What the fuck is happening in here? Oh, that's the radio. What the? Is this a church or a space station? Excuse me. What's back here? Vent is locked, requires screwdriver to open. Can I, can I push this? Can I push this? It's a space church. What the hell happened here? Uh, yeah. I guess we've been out for a while, huh? Ah, oh, it's very dark. I don't have a flashlight. Oh, I can lean though. Stepping on shattered glass will make noise and can alert anyone near. Why? Oh, malfunctions number seven. Professor Brian? Malfunction number... Why anyone is here? It's insanely echoey in here. Did 
doesn't really look... Oh. I guess we're on the surface of a planet, right? So, oh, there's the screwdriver. Uh, that's a lot of blood, by the way. You're not extremely concerned about that? I would be. Those are some comfy looking chairs, though. I mean, maybe not. It looks like your back would be folded in a very weird way. Oh, boy. Captain Blackburn, thank you for the two months. Uh, can I turn off the head bob, by the way? I'm just checking. Uh, <clears throat> I could, oh, let me see. FPS lock, yes, 60, please. Um, am I going to be killed in the menu? How do I... Anti-aliasing could be high. Um, camera FOV depth zoomed out. What is the what the fuck? In-game camera effects disabled. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that makes it look so ugly. Uh, yeah, let's keep those on. <laughs> right, this level. Brrr. That's better. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck. Microphone detection enabled. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, there's no way to get rid of the black cinematic bars, which is fine. Uh, I just wanted to get rid of the <laughs> fucking camera shake, but I guess not. Oh. Ah. Uh. Hey, Blobby, what's up? Oh, I saw someone. You see that? That's someone after me, or are they just uh, chilling here? Oh, I can't go this way. Hello? I don't want to go there. Oh! oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why that scared me so much. That is making a sh shitty noise. I do only have 60 HP, by the way. Uh, what was that? A cat? That looked like a cat. Kitty? Activate. Nice. Okay. I hope it was a kitty. That'd be better than alien. We're about to be running from something, right? <clears throat> Hello? I would probably shut the fuck up, you piece of garbage. <laughs> I'd probably be quiet in a situation like this. Good God, man. You don't have a code. Find the code to open the storage room. I don't have a code. I guess I go this way. Can we open this now? We can't. Fuck happened to you? I'm gonna turn down the. If they're gonna have a constant background hum like this, I'm gonna have to turn it down. Uh, this machine is. Come in, base two. This is base one. Come in, base two. This is Francesca Lee. Something bad is happening in base one. Damn it. It's not working. Uh, yeah, there seemingly are tentacles and everything. Malfunction detected. That is a lot of blood. Find a valve wheel to open the main door. What was this? Is this a code? Picked up Alicia's key card, I see. I will check out your locker. Hopefully not get killed on the way back. Beep, beep, beep. Oh boy, are we gonna have to hide now? I mean, there seemingly were some things on board. What is this, by the way? Oh, it's just a cloth. I thought it was a black sludge. All right, Alicia? 
Alicia, over here maybe? This one. Alicia Hill. Oh, there we go. We have two, we have two times the exact same code. Code changed to 6871. 6871. Is that a Alicia Hill first post space mission? Why do you got a picture of yourself in here? Alicia's first post space mission to 2024 completed. Have also damaged one of our sectors it's the same text by the way <laughs> and injured one of our crewmates francesca lee she's still recovering in the med bay the damage from the tremors and shocks that have been occurring has led to an open contamination in our base where one of our other crewmates philip callahan had been contaminated <laughs> it all happened so quickly by the order of Professor Pride, we had to lock Philip Callahan out to keep him from spreading the infection. I still hear his screams and cries as he kept banging on the doors to let him in. Until he couldn't no more. Until he was stiff. We're out of options. The tremors can lead to more sectors being damaged and spread contamination in our base. Our broadcast radio to communicate with base 2 has been damaged. So we cannot get a hold of the others. Jesus. The exit door has also been heavily damaged. So the only way to open it up is manually with a valve wheel. Alrighty, alrighty, I get it. Okay. So long and too long didn't read the there was a contamination. There's a sickness going around and people turn into these statues from the sickness. And it seems like everyone's you dead. The others went to base two. Six eight seven one was oh, the code. No. That explains why nobody's here. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna turn I have to try and make my way to them. Through the void. Through the void. Oh baby, here we go. Uh six eight seven one. It's over here, right? Uh, was it? No, it was for, it was over here. Through the glass wall. Yes, this thing. I don't know why you're such a shaky lady. Here, sit the lead. Six, six, eight, seven, one. Boom. Nice. You got more lockers? Storage lockers. Uh, ooh. I got a new space suit and a valve door or valve thing for the valve door. Uh, valve, what did I, a med kit? I see. And I can save here. The Sweeney way. Thank you for the five gift subs. Okay. Manual save points. This is truly alien isolation. Uh, I'm guessing, I don't know. I think it said over here that I needed to use the valve. Wheel. Also, where did the statue go? Excuse me. It is gone. That is concerning. Very concerning. Is it over here? It is over there. That's true, yes. Oh, what? what the fuck? What the hell is that thing? Oh my god. Uh, run away from the entity. Okay, bye. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I'm dead. Holy shit. Ah!
Jesus. I hate it here. Is it walking around? Hello? I'm going into whatever the... What was that thing? Yeah, what was that thing? I better stay quiet. Davis. I have to get to base two as soon as possible. Um... What the fuck? I'm going to the light. <clears throat> Scanner re Oh! There's one to equip. Ah, here we go! So, that's cool that they have... Okay, I see. I've played a few games with a mechanic like this. Uh, Scanner Sombre being the, the main one. And like a short... Some short horror games. I've never played a longer game with a mechanic like this. This is very cool. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus. The range scanner will scan the last lone. Well, constantly scanning an area is ideal to get the latest movement. I see. So stuff. Oh, that's creepy. The stuff can move around and then you don't see it. Uh, that is like infinite depth. Object get marked with grains as point of interest. Attach valve wheel. I don't have it. Miss Do I need to? Oh, there. Uh huh. And then I need to read. Oh, it still says it's there. Oh, it slowly updates. I see. And then we rotate. Okay, this is a very unique experience. Are those my footsteps? I gotta run. Don't fall off this. This looks like a wooden structure in space. Where the fuck? There's nowhere to go here. Excuse me. I'm stuck. The scanner is very fast though. Uh, can I go down somewhere? Oh, it, it doesn't like permanently update. Wait, what? Do I need to do something over here? Did I, did I miss? misused it. I thought I finished the thing. And I already turned the wheel. I can't turn it anymore. Yeah, okay. I guess it is over here. It's on a planet. Now, where do we go over here? Uh, I don't see... Is there like a hole in this, maybe? I mean, maybe I could just walk into this. No, I can't. Uh, I'm confused. I don't see anything. Can I just jump down? Oh, can I, can I do something here? There's something back here. Oh, there's something over there. Aha. Wait, I guess that was just a dead end to bait me. We actually need to go over here. Okay. I see. I see. Oh boy. I don't like that it only sticks around for a very Shit. short amount. Ooh. What? How do you know? Does this thing auto detect blood? It makes it red. I mean, I appreciate it. Weird function to have though. Serial killer scanner. Huh. Ooh! What the fuck? Uh, that was terrifying. Excuse me. Something ran for me. That was uh, that was very cool. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, we're in water. There's water on this planet. Void. There we go. That's the start of the game. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Interesting setup. So there's gonna be. Cause I've never really played a fully fledged horror game with a mechanic like this. So I'm curious how they're where they're gonna take this. <laughs> oh. I, I have a hundred health now. I would like to scan the gloom. Oh. Okay. There's just tentacles here and there's a fence. This looks like a very human environment. can't go around this. Can I, like, get a bigger range? Oh, I just gotta be further away, then I can scan much better. 
Oh, we can go around here. Oh, this is water. <laughs> the orange is water. Water will slow you down. Make sure to stay cautious of your surroundings. Uh, more water. So don't go into water because it's going to do splashy noises. Orange objects make noise when stopped on, which can alert enemies, I see. Oh, boy. But using your scanner device, you can hold... Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, nice. We can zoom out. Oh, that's much better. Having max range. Uh, is this a, a fucking gun? Turret. What is this doing here? It, save. I must have been through here. Oh. I have to find a way to open that gate. Interesting. Scanning turret. Get the valve. Door. Why is everything operated? Oh no! I picked up a vision upgrade. Excuse me. You can press H to change your vision color to a darker mode instead. What the hell? No, I like the colors, please. Can we just go underneath this or break this somehow? Oh, you can break it. <laughs> then they disappear. I see. Uh, more footsteps. Don't think I want to. All the footsteps. Let's see where they lead. Uh, are you serious? Someone are you sure about that? Or something has been here. Oh, fresh footsteps will guide you to your destination. Okay, never mind. That is what I want to do. Uh, they climb up. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Maybe I can. Oh, I need to. Oh, the bridge is standing up. I need to drop it down. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, let's look around. <clears throat> There's someone over there. What's there? I'm trying to concentrate the beam. Oh, Ooh, it's too concentrated. Excuse me. <laughs> What the hell? I'm sorry. Too concentrated. You just, it's too much power. Don't do it. It's too late. <laughs> it's MS Pain, the video game. All right, here we go. Um, what is this? We haven't been here before. These little guys. These babies? What the baby doing? Oh. Yeah, it's gotta lower the bridge. Oh, the baby's moved. Do not do that. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the hecky decky? No, 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 no. The hell was that, man? Uh, did that not lower the bridge? I was assuming it would. Maybe I had to hold the button down longer. Wait, what did that do? What did the button do? Wait, did I not fully use it? Or maybe it opened a hole in this or something. Wait, is it still there? It's still there, but the cable is gone now. What the button do? There's still an arrow here. What the what arrow? Oh, maybe if you can move the bars and now we can check behind that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe back here. If we came through here. Yeah, we came through this. Uh, something is out to kill me and I do not like it. There, that thing. Is that open now? It's gotta be, right? I don't know how it was connected all the way to over there. Uh, no. It was not. What the fuck did the thing do? It didn't lower the bridge. It didn't do that. Excuse me. <clears throat> what the hell? There's two cables. Oh, there's two cables. Wait, let's see. Is there another cable going from the bridge? Can we follow that? Oh, there. I didn't see that. Okay. Do we need to go behind here? Aha. Uh -huh. What the? table oh i can hide underneath it that's so weird hide underneath the table okay here yeah there it is i do not appreciate this game listening to my microphone picked up a range scanner upgrade do i keep getting more upgrades for my thing 
Found an upgrade. Toggle F for ho What the fuck is this, dude? It doesn't make any noise either. Excuse me. That's the weirdest shit of all time. Why would you want to use this? What is the advantage of having this rather than this? I don't understand. Why would you want that? Hey, Psycho, what's up? I don't understand it. Uh, wait, what? How the fuck did I get in here? I swear it was over here. Uh, the door's gone? Oh, here. No attacking, please. Now we can cover the bridge. Obviously creepy tentacles. Uh, and this guy, is he just gonna, do I need to be quiet? He's just standing still. What objective updated? Can you tell me my objective? Find a way to open the gate door. Uh, I can't move, there we go. Uh-oh. I do not appreciate that at all. What the fuck? Where did he go? Okay. Button here? Catch valve. Okay, I see. I guess we're following the creepy guy. Um, still there. Help! Help. That's kind of... Oh, who am I supposed to help? I can help you. I'm a friend. Wait, where did you go? What the, is that behind me? Um, I see shadow here. What is the shadow? Oh. Creepy. More blood on the ground. Make any splashy noise. It's old blood. And there's the valve. Never mind. This is med kit. That's useful. Oh! Oh, why? What the hell was that all about? Don't do that. Are you your statue? You're gonna be creepy later, huh? Oh, water. No, I don't like water. Water makes me slow. So far, there hasn't been uh, many monsters, luckily. So looks like the water is above... How the fuck does that work? How is the water <laughs> above the... I wonder if without the light... Without the, the lighter gun, this whole place probably looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> There it is. Oh, over here. When we, when, where we going? You won't need eyes to see. IGP. <laughs> oh my! I was like, where's what's that all about? IGP reference. Oh god. Oh.
Okay. Creepy dude. What? What just fell into the water? I think they full on disappear. I don't think he's here anymore, probably. Dude, I love these colors. Can we keep these colors? I don't think... Oh, go this way. It's, it's really weird to me that there's, like, tables in this alternate universe. Shouldn't we, like, hide underneath tentacle vines or something? Why hide underneath tables? Seems a little arbitrary. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Open the whole thing. <laughs> I'd rather not open it now. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, okay. Run, run, run. Go two ways. I can go this way. I can go this way. I can go this way too. I think I'm just gonna go straight. Uh, what the f Am I going on a pirate ship of some sorts? giant and maybe this is not a 3d dimension maybe i'm like moving through through some kind of 4d dimension right now fuck man spikes don't step on the spikes Um, I heard those noises. I don't know if you did. More fences. Alien fences. Here's your box. I don't like that. back there uh, very random uh, there's nothing else here and I, I can't oh uh, why do space bar do a little whistle I do not want to whistle I just wanted to jump right, I guess I'm going back because there doesn't seem to be anything here there were multiple ways to go bait someone you can't spam the whistle. You can only do it every now and then. Oh, I missed footsteps right there? Wait, really? Hi, Will. Thank you for the five months. I I didn't see it. They were. Oh, th no, that's not red. Wait, let's see. Oh, that's blood. Oh, blood, and then the footsteps came from the blood. Yes. Oh, going in here. I see. Huh. Oh no, more water. Uh, hello there. Are you guys statues? I hope you are. Are you mannequins? Um, hello. Hello. I come in peace. I am friendly. Don't you dare move. You just blocked me. Wait, you weren't there before. Oh, they're moving. That is not good. That is bad. I see green. Green is good. Lever. What the hell? Is that a face? <laughs> that is a face. Excuse me. Are you sticking your tongue out? 
Oh, oh, the gate's now open, okay. Oh, no. Wait, they're sitting in some kind of chair? What even is that? Are sitting in... Oh, no, they're just sitting down. They're just doing the not like this emote? Not like this! Oh, they're all sitting down. They were all gone here from here? Oh, they're in the water now. That is pretty creepy. As long as you don't attack me, I'm fine with that. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm stuck. Would I want to do that? Why would I want to press spacebar? Um, that would be stupid. What if I do this? Run! Ah! What the fuck? My brother in Christ! Wait, the gate is all the way all the way back right across the bridge and everything I think so or wait was this oh it's just the table oh boy I think so It's walking back over. Are you still here? This is where I need to go. There's like no ways to hide or nowhere to run really. All just one linear path. Oh, there it is. Is this open now? Is it open? It still looks locked. Oh, wait, huh? Wait, maybe I can open it with this now? Oh, wait, what? Excuse me? It said something about... Go through... Back through the gate door. Is this not a gate door? Or is it like even for... Is it all... It's all the way back. It's like the furthest back. Oh, it's all the way back. Okay. It seems very straightforward to avoid them. Ah! 
Oh, it blocked behind me. Never mind. I thought something terrible just happened. And there we go. The gate is open. Okay, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Objective updated. Make your way through void phase two. I can't walk anymore. There we go. I just stand still. It just makes this kind of pretty looking square. Uh, we can't go over there. Oh no, more water. Oh, what the f What the f fuck, brother? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Something's running. At least this thing knows how to distinguish enemy from background. That's very useful. Oh, save. Let's go. If I died up till there, I would have gone all the way back. Are you kidding me? Um, more footsteps. More... <laughs> Two of them? Are you kidding me? Picked up another med kit. I got two med kits. Let's go. I right, stay away. There's wood in it. Oh. Flip it. In there. What is this smell? Oh god, what the fuck? What is this, man? Oh, it. It's an arrow. Oh no, it's a go, go, go. Oh, uh, follow it. Follow it. Don't tell me I need something. Oh. That's gonna make a lot of noise. That opened up something over here. The cables went over there. I guess I go back. I don't know what... What the, This maybe? Isn't this where I came from? What's this? Oh, it's a, it's a turret again. Aha! They show you the important objectives. Holy shit, man. Is this water? Ah. Stop it. Can't move through this, so it must be water. Oh, it's like a pipe breaking or something? It's a very straight line of water. Do we even have a, do we have a valve? Oh, there's a valve still on there. Uh, yeah, I did it. I would like... What? The water's going up! I'm gonna drown! Help! I opened it up! What the fuck do you mean? Oh, use the door? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead as hell. Wait, what? I already drained the use the valve! What do you mean? Uh, what the fuck? Help! I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm dead. I'm dead as hell. Oh, God! What the fuck was that? Excuse me, I wake up in a nice apartment. It's all a dream. What the hell? What the hell indeed? Excuse me. I wake up in the ghost watcher's house. What is this? Don't be a long text. Fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> I'll summarize it. Message. Hello, Francesca. Just a reminder of the new... Jesus Christ, you gotta fucking work on your... On your messages, man. This shit's way too long. <laughs> oh my god. This is a reminder of the new meeting that will be set up before the we launch out on the mission. 
I just wanted to make sure you are ready. Please call me tomorrow at 2 p.m. time onwards so we can set up the meeting with all the crew members and go through it one all one final time. This is a big thing. This can be big for all of us. This discovery can change the view of how we see things in the future. We won't look at the sky the same again. The amount of work and resources that have been put into this is too much to lose now. We need everybody strong in this and to do their part as you always did before. This is part of our job and we have to accept it. I know things are not easy leaving everything behind for a couple of months again all in a short notice especially for your son and with you moving back to your grandmother's house it just feels too much all of a sudden but remember this is for the future this discovery can mean a lot to everyone this will be maintaining the space we will be maintaining the space station bases we while doing scientific experiments on its existence this is something that we have never seen before two bases have been set up with equipment for all the personnel involved and we will be located in base one more information will be said in the meeting yes how is the renovation coming along by the way along by the way in your grandmother's house i heard you are going to renovate it for that grand millennial style look that's nice also did you call john the handyman i gave you please don't forget to call me we will speak soon okay tldr uh we're doing important things here we're going to change the world with this research that's it. That's literally all it said in just the most long-winded way possible. Hi there. What is this? Are you wearing a? I am an astronaut like you. Oh, it's child. Child picture. Um. No, 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 no. This is real. Find this all four real. padlock keys and open the basement door. This is the ghost watcher's house. I was correct. <laughs> oh, another med kit. Do I still have my med kits from before? I do not. New inventory. Oh, shoo, shoo, son of a sack of shit. Television. This door's gonna slam my face too. <laughs> Mommy, I miss you. Mommy, where are you? Uh, you just ran in there. What the fuck? Can you turn on the lights, please? You promised you will be back home soon. E? This better not be another fucking insanely long. Okay, here we go. Mommy is my hero. I love you, Mommy. I know how much you love space, so I drew you a robot. I hope you like it. I wish you spend more time with me, but I understand you have working to do. I love space, too, and I wish to be like Mommy one day. She works hard sometimes. I put cardboard to imagine I'm an astronaut like you. My Mommy is my hero forever. Please come back soon. I miss you so much. Feels bad, man. Dude, and there's the child. Just if you forgot. Uh, we're back in the world now. Uh, wait, are we in our room? Oh, we're in the house still? Are we? Yeah, this is the closet. Wait, I, luckily I know this house, like I could literally walk around blind in this house because I've played so many horror games that use this exact same house. Picked up the padlock key too. Uh, what the fuck? This is that tiny washing room area. You can see the washing machine right here. That's a washing machine. <laughs> There's a bathroom right here. Is he in the bathroom? Uh, this is new. This bathroom usually doesn't connect to something. That's the master bedroom. Excuse me. What the fuck? Yes. Uh, oh, this room is locked off. Usually it's a much bigger room. I guess I have to go this way to go into the other part of the room. Uh, never mind. Is there a door here? Usually there's a place over there, but I guess not in this one. Uh, there's no more padlock keys. Excuse me. We want to go into the basement, right? The basement's going to be over here. Uh, no, the, okay. The downstairs area is very different. 
Kind of lucky three, nice, okay. Oh boy. Oh, there's footsteps, nice. Uh, the last one. I know, honey, but they need me. Okay, now where's the basement? What the fuck is that? Um. Oh boy, excuse me, not necessary. It's not over here? Oh, it is over here. Okay, never mind. The basement is where it's usually at. Come back alive, I mommy. They need me. You know mommy's work is important, right? I have to go, you know that. Come back so alive, mommy. Okay. Or come back it's alive, me. mommy. I or, so it was like, come back alive. Why? It's just a flashback? Oh. Oh, I was low. I was like, what is happening? Uh, I'm gonna load it for you, I think. Okay. We survived the water, though. Let's go. Okay. We're a little. We're still in the house? New. Can I go underneath? I can maybe no. Okay. Oh, up here. I see. Make your way through void base two. Yes, that's the objective so far. I don't think we're gonna find much there. Oh, I'm so sorry for leaving. Can't be fully. Oh. Don't worry. Shadow. I'm coming home. As I promised. Shadow. Tiny room. My mind. What the fuck is this? I like, out of here. I don't really know where I am. Isn't this supposed to be? Like that? Me I know. I know. We kind of skimmed over the message, but that message was like, "Oh, this this game is, or the not the game, but this like universe, this like separate dimension is gonna change the way we see the world." Not really. If there's like fences storage closets like everything seems very regular here like it seems like i'm just walking around in a regular house or regular room just using this scanner like they're, they're not they don't feel like alien environments at all i don't know if that's just me or if oh what is this excuse me rude Yeah, it, wait, what? I picked up, uh, something. What was this? Authorized personnel card? Okay, where the fuck did we go? The red is gone, and then the- <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's gotta be through here, right? Don't look YouTube. Um, just, like, trying to find the red footsteps. Where are the red footsteps at? Yeah, just go back. I, I forgot if there was something back that we needed. Oh, it's through here. I see. They are in you? What is that supposed to mean? Oh. More of pipes? Is this the pipe dimension? Boom! Oh, there's... <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's up. Oh, more water, huh? Go up here. Is there anything here? Any like a secret upgrade? Sometimes if you go, oh, they are in you. You already said that. There's gotta be something back here, right? There's no way I would go all the way over here without anything. Jesus. 
something the safe station let's go i haven't saved in so long thank you um i guess we go down here now how did i miss that safe station earlier but there are those red things appearing in front of you i have genuinely no clue i think it's just Jump scare. Jump scare for jump scare purposes. I mean, they get me real good, but that's because they have, they're have they not announced at all. They're just random, like, things in your face. Uh, I'll go over there. I guess I click that button. What is the, yeah, the pink jump. I don't know. I don't know why the machine changes color as well when that happens. Because every game I've played, like, oh. That's a giant dude. Oh, come on. I'm fucking dying for sure. Ow. What am I supposed to do? Just run? Oh, just run? Davis. Okay. Use a mat kit. Luckily, I had one. What's this? Another laser machine? What's that one? I think. Um, this is a like a. I don't know what this is. Oh come on. So uh, this looks like that one section where you fight the crocodile and security breach that well, that's what this looks like to me. Oh god uh, Oh god, they're everywhere. What the fuck? Okay, how about I bait you guys over here? And then I go around Dash, loopy, loopy doopy. You're coming that way, what the fuck? Okay. Pretty sure we're just supposed to go where they came from. Yep. Wobber K, thank you for the three months. Oh, more hiding spots. Don't really need any hiding spots. This way? I'm guessing. Why are all the fucking random jump scares really unnecessary? Getting a little on my nerves right now. It's just... Feels extremely cheap. Like it's not earned at all. I mean, it's not really a jump scare. It's just a color change, I guess. loud uh, follow the just they feel like it why what's the point like what explain it to me you you were writing like n entire novels and notes before what's the pink jump scare all about is it malfunctioning explain it use your words you weren't afraid to talk for hours earlier Maybe the scanner is malfunctioning, I guess. Because it does affect the scanner as well. I do really think this game needed, like, if you want to sell a grandiose, like, other dimension, you need to make it look otherworldly. Like, this just looks like a, like, this is very human made. This doesn't, it's not very creative in my opinion. Uh, what the fuck is this? This is pretty cool. What is this? Why were they all standing there? Just 
watching. Who are you talking about? They seem different from the other ones. I don't understand. Uh, what? What is this? It's coming to the middle? Oh, no. Are you gonna attack me? Oh, no, he left. Look at the floor. There was something at the floor. I don't know. Um, there was... I guess we go back here. All the footsteps. Let's right mouse button do a big scan. Maybe you can aim down sight for bigger scan. I'm not sure. Oh no. A random jump scare. Number 79. If only it'd still have the same effect as the first 700 jump scares. Are we going back? I don't know what we're doing. Oh, hi there. Where are you? Wait, they just disappeared? There's these mannequins. I like the mannequins. Those are creepy. Those are genuinely creepy because they move around weirdly. I have the key card to open. Key code to open the door. A monster. How much does this game cost? I don't remember. I think it's a pretty cheap game. I mean, it's early access. But I don't know why early access doesn't really make sense to me for single player adventures. Like single player horror experiences. I don't really understand. Oh, there you go. 1947. I don't really understand why games like this go into early access. What do I think about the game so far? Pretty underwhelming, if I'm honest. I think the mechanic is just kind of completely random in this setting. Like, it feels like I'm just walking around in, like, an industrial building using this, like, scanner, and the game is trying to pretend like I'm in some kind of alternative universe. Maybe it's my fault for not letting myself be immersed. But it's pretty hard to be immersed when you're just, like, walking around on stairs. There's, like, human-made railings everywhere. Like, the environments are extremely lazy. Like, if there was, like, a normal light source here, it'd be the most generic place of all time. The only reason it is remotely special is because of the, the way you see the environment. Which doesn't... I don't know. I I can just kind of see through that. I don't know if that's just... Wait, I'm back here now? What the fuck? It's, like, it's too obvious that it's a generic environment that the scanner doesn't save it. Um, I just want to see if it gets better. We go up here? I guess we do. I mean... Not to be rude to this developer, that is kind of in line with the other game I played from them, which I also very much not enjoyed. Uh, it was called Trenches, which was a very grindy, frustrating horror game. Am I going back again the same way? Maybe their style just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, I don't think we've been here. I think we have been here, but we're going back to the button now. What? There's a way to loop around on your... Excuse me. Wait, I came from here, though, right? It's so extremely hard to know where to go. They did the back rooms 1998. Okay, I did really enjoy that game. That game was good. Okay, never mind that. Because that game was genuinely solid. Uh, I genuinely have no idea where to go. I feel like somehow it's impossible not to go in circles here. Excuse me, where the fuck? This way. This has gotta be a... That's where I came from, right? Oh, this is the door, I see. Uh, I already... 1947 or something? 1947, I think. Yes. Okay, nice. What the hell? Yeah, 
These textures are pretty cool. I just wish like it was more of this rather than like because now I feel like I <laughs> I guess it's just desynthesized. The decent but I don't the jump scares don't work anymore because you have done like 50 random jump scares that means like these earned jump scares don't scare me anymore because I've gone into apathetic mode. Is this something I always say? Fuck. Run! Shit! 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 Run! Oh, uh oh. Like, horror games are only scary if you allow yourself to be scared. It's so easy to not be scared by horror games. Like, there's... There's genuinely nothing scary about a horror game because it's just a game, right? But if you allow yourself to be immersed, it gets scary. That's what makes it scary. So if you force the player to get out of that experience, it kind of ruins the whole thing. I don't know. Did we make it? Did we make it to the to the facility? That was close. Shit. Oh. Aha. Okay. I like this way more. These environments are way cooler. Okay, so now we're back in the in the other spaceship. Professor Brian? Let me guess. Lisa? This is gonna be fucking novel. Anyone? <laughs> I couldn't care less. <laughs> oh no. Base two has also been breached. Alright. Um I don't think anyone is alive. All of these doors are blocked. Anyone made it here. I mean, there were people in it's here, right? Oh, open the door. All of these doors need key cards, though. I mean, I do have a key card, right? Oh, my key card works here, too. Nice. Uh, what the fuck? Is this the void? What the hell is this? Oh, God. The base is also dissolving into the gloom. That is... Yeah, hurry up. That's cool. Like that's really cool. Like having like the worlds collide upon each other. All they literally like kind of all they needed to do was get rid of the random jump scares that really like made me just like not respect the game anymore because it was so cheap. And they needed to make the gloom areas look way more otherworldly than they actually were because they just looked like regular they they had to be shorter, shorter areas so it was less tedious to walk around in them uh make them look more alien so it actually feels realistic that it is a different planet i guess this game is early access so uh some review or oh, some like God. feedback will be very like valuable um this one's still working but it's missing some components oh my god what is this it's missing pod canisters Shit. maybe i should look around because i do think the effect is kind of cool it kind of it's a really cool i think this idea of the game is actually genuinely awesome oh like having a, a is also dissolving to the gloom i better hurry up oh, like having a a kind of dimension you can not really like that like a 4d dimension that that gets converted into 2d using the, or into 3d using that scanner that would be really sick um but it didn't look like another dimension at all it just kind of looked like your average Walmart. Uh, is this not where we came from? Oh, yes. Like, the ideas here are very solid. Uh, we already came from here, right? Or wait, yes? Uh, what the fuck? Do I just need to interact with these? I guess I can go around here. Um, do I need to go in here? I can't place a pod canister. Requires a pod canister in order to place it. Okay, where do we go? Um, where's my red footsteps when we... Oh, here? No. I've already used this. Is there a way to get around this? Like, why can't we walk into this and use our scanner? Can we do that? Why not? Why, why can't we? <laughs> I genuinely don't understand. Why can't I use my scanner? Like, huh? Like, that would be so cool. Have, like, uh, both worlds collide 
where oh the scanner broke oh okay but that would be really genuine i mean i guess it would also kind of break the illusion that it is a special universe but it would be cool to like kind of combine them somehow that'd be very oh this okay here we go uh-huh Range scanner device. Wait, there, oh, is it? there we go. This is exactly what, see, they have good ideas. They just got to rework some stuff. I like that. Nice. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we need to collect six of that. Oh, what's this? Odd cat. Oh, another one. They heard me. Live hotfix. This was just another scanner. I hear some walking around there. Oh, just uh, there's some guy there. And obviously they also need to make the voice logs a lot or the text logs like 10 times shorter. It's way too long. Oh boy, this guy's going to get me. Oh. He after me? Oh, come on. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Nope. 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 Is he gonna run into this world? Can he come here? I'm guessing he can. Oh, you can use it in here too. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Okay, so we have how many? We only have four. That's not good enough, but I guess we can go into the other one. The other void. Okay, so go into this void. <clears throat> right, there was one more over... No, wait, this is how we... Oh, wait, that's how we went in. This is how... Okay, so we gotta find them more in there. We just need to avoid this, this monster. one and then there's gonna be one more in the other room one more here uh nothing but there no that's just hiding spot there you are hey day what's up okay now we need to get the hell out of here somehow uh excuse me that was also trenches was very similar where uh where it has a really cool atmosphere but then they just start spamming jump scares non-stop and it just completely ruined the experience for me i think i think this dev doesn't know like he is he's too youtube pilled he's too youtube pilled he's watched too many youtubers go ah oh ah that that like that sells but like I kind of respect myself a little too much to oh, to fucking <laughs> like evolve into a YouTube monkey who just screams all the time. I get it. Like I know there's people that j don't fake it that like genuinely get scared by everything. I just don't know how they do it. Finally coming home. Oh boy. Can I go in here? Escape pod, click the button. Uh, I save. I thought it was going in here. Oh. oh. I thought this was a save computer. Uh, nice stairway. And let me guess, it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Gotta go fast. If there was some kind of disease, why aren't we infected, by the way? Because everyone else turned into like monsters, right? How did we, how, why were we immune from that? I don't really understand the story. I, th 
Out of the eight crewmates that were sent out to study the mysterious unexplained void on the planet filled with darkness called Tenebris, only one made it back home to Earth safely. Francesca Lee, a 39-year-old former astronomer, was, on was the only survivor that made it back alive. Her son was the motivation for her returnal, returnal and what kept her pushing forward. Just plot armor. I mean, obviously that's the end. Anyone hear me? Oh, never mind. Hello? If you can hear me, do not leave this planet. Do not return back to Earth. We probably don't have much time, but my name is Professor Brian, and I am the professor that led the mission along with my crewmates. The void is another dimension, another copy of our own world that just lives in darkness and emptiness. Tremors have reached base one where we were staying. Contaminated areas have this thing that starts forming around it, and within time it will dissolve into nothing, just gloom, darkness, voidness. Myself and the other survivors, we tried to make it back to base two through the void. That was a bad idea. We lost half of the crewmates going, and only me and Alicia Hill made it back alive. But that's when I discovered something... tragic. We are all contaminated. We have all been contaminated all along. It doesn't matter if we have protective gear or not. Once you have entered the void, they have control over us. Uh -huh. They are smart. I am not speaking about the ones that roam endlessly trying to attack us. I am talking about the others. The ones that are trying to attack us. They are not one of them. Those are our crewmates and people that have died inside the void. Maybe even people that have been here before us. They are lost souls roaming around endlessly in the voidness. They are just trying to stop us from taking the real threat with us. The real threat, the real threat are the ones that stand there and watch and observe. Those are the real threat. That's cool. So all they do is wait, then take over you when the time is right. We cannot go back home. We have to accept that. There is no escape. Just kill yourself. <laughs> Just like I had to kill Alicia and the other. They Jesus. wouldn't listen. I couldn't let them go back and risk mankind. I had to. I did not want to kill them. I only wanted to defuse the returnal pod so nobody can go back, but they wanted to start it up. I couldn't let them go back! So I had to. Uh. If anyone gets this message, do not enter the void. If anyone contaminated will make it back alive on Earth, they will invade our planet. <laughs> Just like we invaded theirs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like, that's pretty well done. Like, I don't know. I don't know why the areas that were in the, um, oh, the game crashed. Um, I don't know why the areas that were in the spaceship looked more alien than the areas in the void. Like, why did, wasn't there like, why weren't the walls made of creepy, like slime in the void. Why were the walls in the void all just fucking corridors? Like, okay, so let's summarize. What were the mistakes with this game? The I know the void is a mirrored version of Earth, but it doesn't, like it's supposed to be an otherworldly dimension. Like it's supposed to be some crazy dimension that like consumes stuff. Like it's supposed to look otherworldly and not like boring. <laughs> so that's the first mistake. Second mistake, the areas were too long. It was too much walking. It was just too slow. Uh, third mistake, the the jump scare. I think the main thing that ruined this game for me was the jump scares just needless, non-stop, like, you walk around, loud noise, red in your face, just, like, completely unearned spamming of jump scares. That, complete, that like, like, shame on you, developer. Like, if you're a horror developer and that's how you make your game, the, that's that's disgusting, in my opinion. Like, that's not how... That's just so cheap so not scary so boring uh that's not what horror is all about in my opinion that's i mean it is what sells on youtube i'm not gonna upload this to youtube except the vod channel 
Uh, so, I mean, obviously it's going to work for some people. Not for me, though. I don't know. I like I like a more meaningful experience. Something like uh, the game called Family Curse we played recently. Very, very jump scare heavy game. But I actually really enjoyed all those jump scares. They're very well earned. Um, and then the, 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 the texts were unreadably... Not, un, not unreadable, but they were very broken english and way too long completely unnecessarily long um so yeah i think this game fell flat in many aspects mostly just the complete like there was no restraint when it came to jump scare spamming and it just like it just it just fell flat for me because of that and i i mean maybe it's what they're going for but i really would love to see the the other world look way more alien like a cre you could just make it look like a cave would already be much better than making it look like uh like some like the the back the storage area of a walmart anyway um i i think this this can improve they just got to work on it uh let me know what you think uh if you're watching this on the vods channel i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well over here on youtube we're gonna call the stream right there uh that way i can make sure that the video that's going up on youtube is gonna be fine at least interior worlds was actually way better than i expected i mean i know it wasn't very scary like that game was way more of a horror experience to me personally than this one even though this one obviously got more screams out of you uh because it just it just it just didn't it didn't earn any of it but anyway uh, let's go see who's live right now. And say hi over there. Ooh. Ooh, it's been a while. Look who it is. We're gonna go say hi over here. I hope they're gonna... They might stop soon, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna go say hi to CJ. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you around. <laughs> let's go. Bye-bye. Let's go.